Hi ladies, it's Karen and I come to you tonight with um, a quick project share. As you can see I completed a couple of tags and I'm going to take you through this one first. Um, both of these tags measure about six by three and uh, these are tags that Susan, she's Scrap Paper Queen on YouTube, had sent me in a rack and I really I really enjoy the size of these tags. Um, so with this one with this tag the first thing I did was I distressed all the edges with bundled sage and um, I believe it's the Victorian velvet you know that Victorian pink color of the Tim Holtz distress inks so I distressed the whole tag and then um, for the the background stamp is this recollections music stamp and I stamped that using, I believe, um, I believe it was, I believe it was the bundled sage, um, ink, distress ink that I stamped the background stamp in. And then for the image stamp, which is this, I used my, uh, Memento black ink. And I did use my heat tool on it just to heat heat set it a little bit um, I didn't you know I didn't want the tag to be damp so after I after I did that I sprayed it with scintillating silver um, Lindy stamp gang scintillating silver and then I adhered this ribbon down here and this is um, ribbon that Cassie sold at her store along with this um, um, beaded trim I forgot what you call it but along with this this um, trim here and I put some of this same blingy blingy trim a little piece of it here and also up here and um, I started layering my flowers and for over on this on this um, image see how there are flowers on the stamp all these flowers well I wanted to mimic that a little bit with my flower arrangement so I took one of the heat um, wheat sprays that Cassie had sent me and I cut it in half and there's one section the top section and over here is the bottom section of that wheat spray. And then the rest of these flowers are all from Cassie's store, except for this rosebud, which is from I Am Roses. And I just um, layered them around with the wheat spray um, sticking out. Um, also the black flowers, also from Cassie's store, along with all of these flowers. Um, then I took the, the mint-colored flatback pearls that she had sent me. And um, I just put some here and up here. I didn't want to create a whole a whole big border around the tag because I didn't want it, you know, that closed in. But um, I wanted to add a touch of the flatback pearls. And then the flower up here is the foam flower, the pink uh, foam flower that Cassie sells at her store. And um, I'm not sure that she has any more left, but that's that it comes from her Flippicano 2 Art Fire store. And then for this beaded trim down here, um, it's just some trim that I'd picked up at Joann's at one time in their uh, clearance bin. And it has the beaded trim on it. So I just um, adhered it to the back so that all, all you could see is the beads hanging down. And then for the top, um, I just uh, used some laces, different lace. And I adhered it together with um, the brown flower that I received from Cassie's store. So that's, that's um, the one tag. And I think it came out really cute. I really love this stamp. And um, I just think it came out really sweet. So it was a simple tag. And then this other tag. Um, I... It, did the same sort of thing. I went over the edges, um, distressed the edges with the uh, walnut walnut stain um, distress ink, and also um, and 
and also uh, this one, the Stormy Sky Blue. And um, then, and I also uh, used a little bit of the spun sugar. And then the script stamp in the background there um, is from my recollections of uh, big script stamp. And I stamped that using the Tim Holtz spun sugar stamp, um, Distress Ink. So I stamped that in the background. Then this corset stamp is from the Rubber Cafe. And I used my Memento ink to stamp it, to stamp the image. And then um, the first thing I did was started... Um, layering this brown and lace trim here that I received from Cassie's store around the bottom of the corset as if it were the lace the laces coming out of the bottom of the um, garment. Uh, I also put some of the small white lace around the top here um, that's lace from Hobby Lobby and then I put these tiny little um, um, blingy this tiny bling, you know, as the buttons going down the corset. And then just as I added something, I used my uh, glitter pen and outlined the, outlined the corset with my glitter pen. You know, I went over all the, the lines just to make it shimmery. I, I didn't go over the tag with the scintillating silver. I just wanted the corset to shimmer. <clears throat> and then um, the, these laces here, this is one that Cassie had sent me in a rack. Um, I believe this is one I, I purchased at Jo... I believe both of these are ones that I purchased at Joann's. And this is a bead of trim that I received from... Et I got from Etsy. This is one of the uh, little flowers that um, Lydia had given me in the little bag of flowers she had given me in a recent rack. Thank you so much, Lydia. And um, this crocheted flower here is actually... Um, Scrappy K. Sue um, had made a few of these and she had sent me a bunch and um, this one was actually I believe yellow and I sprayed it with my um, Lindy Stamp Gang to change the color to more of a brown coppery to match the tag and then I used the um, you know this this um, I forgot what you call them this buckle slide that I um, got from Elizabeth at Beady Bomb Bomb and the halfback pearl is from Saw Crafters. And uh, the lace I layered underneath, I believe it's from Hobby Lobby. And so I, um, you know, layered that lace and then the crochet flower on top. I really love the crochet flowers. Thank you so much, Kesu. And then these two flowers are from Cassie's Art Fire Store. The two black flowers. And then um, I just fed a bunch of fibers, um, dark, deep brown, fibers and one white fiber uh, through the top and then I tied them together with a piece of um, twine and that's it it's you know it's just a simple tag but I think it came out really sweet I like the way the corset shimmers I hope it you know I hope it's showing up in the video because it's really cool it's really cute and um, I really love that stamp so those are my two um, tags I think they came out really sweet and I love doing tags it's like one of my favorite things um, because they're quick projects and you know you could use them in your scrapbook albums in you know on your scrapbook pages you could you know um, collect them and put them in your smash books you could send them as cards you know to people or you could just collect a bunch of them and make a banner you know, with all of them. So I really love tags. I, I, I just, I love to make them because they're quick. You know, kind of like um, ATC cards, except more structured, I guess. But um, I really enjoy making tags. <clears throat> so those are the two that I've made um, last night and today. And now I have a basket of ribbon and a counter to clear up. And hopefully I'll be back soon with a haul a bit of a, a haul so thanks so much for watching ladies I appreciate it if you have any questions about these tags or anything that I use to complete these tags please uh, leave a comment and um, and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon goodbye now